Many of you required a visa to get here, and I have to say that uh, Isle of Man Immigration Service have been excellent in granting around 120 visas to participants. They really have worked uh, very well to assist us. Mr. Cannon, please pass on uh, my thanks to, to Isle of Man Immigration uh, for their assistance. Uh, without them, the tournaments would have been greatly weakened. And I think it deserves a round of applause. Isle of Man Immigration. <laughs> Now, a big change since uh, our last event in 2019 uh, is that Isle of Man Chess Association uh, has become an affiliated member of FIDE. This happened, I think it was in late 2020. Uh, Emil, I thank you personally for your involvement in this and in, in making it happen. Uh, one of the consequences of this is that uh, two local players uh, in the Grand Swiss, um, Dimar Kolbus and Lee Wu, please make yourself known. There we go. Dimar and Lee. They will be playing under the Manx flag for the first time uh, in the Grand Swiss. Uh, ranked at numbers 113 and 114 in a field of 114. Dima and Lee, I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Another outcome of being an affiliated member of FIDE is that uh, Isle of Man can enter a team into the FIDE Olympia something that has been a long-term goal uh, of Isle of Man Chess for, for at least 30 years. And Isle of Man will, will actually be entering a team into the 2024 uh, Olympiad uh, to be held in, in Budapest in, in Hungary. And that this is with the, the financial assistance of, of the Scheinberg family. Now, there's only around 25 active local uh, club members on the Isle of Man, so I, I don't expect that we'll be challenging the medals just yet. But it will be great to see uh, an Isle of Man team in such a prestigious team competition. Emil, again, thank you for your assistance in, in making this happen. And I would like to say a few words about our sponsor. Isai Scheinberg and his family have financed every international event we've hosted in the island since 2014, plus the 2021 Grand Swiss in Riga, and this year's event is no exception. Without the Scheinberg family, there simply would be no Grand Swiss or women's Grand Swiss on this scale. Isai can't be with us this evening, but I would like us to show our appreciation anyway. The Shining family. <laughs> and that's all I have to say. Best wishes to you all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alan, uh, your tournament director. We're now going to hand you over to the Chief Minister for the Isle of Man, Alfred Cannon, MHK. Well, good evening, everyone. It's my great pleasure to be here today and to welcome you all to the Isle of Man and to the 2023 FIDE Grand Swiss and Women's Grand Swiss Chess Tournaments. Now, I know that many of you would have visited the island back in 2019 for the Grand Swiss, but for those of you whose first time it is here on the island, welcome. I really hope you enjoy your time and when you're not playing in the tournament, I invite you to explore some of the many great things that the Isle of Man has to offer. For many of you, it will also be welcome back to this magnificent venue of the Villa Marina, where I know previously five international chess tournaments were held here on the Isle of Man from 2014 to 2018. 
Now I hope you will all join me in extending a huge thank you to everyone who has helped make this event possible. I know there has been a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes to ensure that this tournament gets off to a seamless start and I'm very pleased to see the culmination of all that effort here this evening. I would like to pay a particular tribute to the Scheinberg family who have generously supported international chess on the Isle of Man since 2014, assisting the island in hosting many prestigious tournaments, including, of course, the Grand Swiss. Now, as you'll all be aware, there has been a lot of global, tur uh, global turbulence in recent years, and of course, recently, the brutal terrorist attacks by Hamas on Israel, which we all condemn. However, it is my hope that international tournaments and events such as this one can work towards the ultimate goal of peace through cooperation and friendly competition. And with that, I wish to thank you all again for your attendance and participation at this year's Grand Swiss Chess Tournament. And I, wish to, I would like to wish you all the very best of luck for the tournament. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chief Minister. And uh, finally, um, to address you all, you please welcome uh, to the microphone the CEO of FIDE, Emil Sitovsky. Chief Minister, now, colleagues, well, I hope I didn't lose the right to call you all my colleagues, although the very last professional tournament of mine was at this very place five years ago in 2018. I remember being here and uh, being delighted about the tournament, how, how it was organized, and little did I know that in a few years' time I, I, I will be basically not only representing FIDE, but also together with Alan pulling off the tournament of, of such a caliber. I'm really happy to see friends and uh, those whom I have played for many years together and new faces here. I'm happy that we managed to raise the bar for this tournament and to make it stronger, to make it more representative, to have more women players, to have a much higher price fund. And uh, in this regard, I'd like to once again to praise Shrine the family on his side personally. Uh, he was always very generous in his attitude and always supportive of our efforts to make the game of chess to raise the profile of it. Thank you and please once again a round of applause. I have to say that we have, haven't spent any effort together with Alan throughout months of preparation because when you play chess you rarely realize how much effort is behind of all that. And I think we reached to, to the situation that we have an event which is played in a very beautiful venue, in the most uh, comfortable conditions, and we will also meet every single request of you, reasonable request of you during the tournament to, to make your stay here as enjoyable and to have your professional uh, needs met. Uh, please know that we have, in, a, in addition to this panel, we have Jeroen Vandenberg, technical delegate for PIDE, who will be addressed to all your requests, but uh, also for some time I'll be around as well, and as always, uh, please find me whenever you need. Uh, finally, I'd like to wish everyone good luck. Of course, there will be only a few winners, but I think most of you, or hopefully all of you, will enjoy the tournament. Thank you, and we work for you. Thank you very much, Emil. Now, um, before we let, let you loose on the, the buffet and back to the bar, ladies and gentlemen, there's some very important uh, work that needs to be done. Um, we've now come to the drawing of lots. Uh, for the colour for round one. Uh, can I please welcome up uh, to the microphone the Chief Arbiter, Alexander Holchek. Okay, um, for the Open Grand Swiss, we would like to invite Fabiano Caruana to come and select um, a king from the bag, please. <coughs> So Fabiano will be black in round one. We'll just make sure that the the, 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 the,
And for the women's round swiss, can we invite Alexandra Goryachkina to come and draw her colour in round one, please? in round one. Okay, thank you. Well, thank you for your attention, ladies and gentlemen. That's the formalities over with this evening. Uh, may I wish you uh, all the best of luck for your competition over the, uh, the coming weeks here at the Villa Marina, and also a very pleasant stay here as our guests on the Isle of Man. Uh, the buffet is now served to the rear of the room. The bar is once again open, and I uh, hope you have a very pleasant evening. Thank you.